tonight ladies and others I hope everyone is getting into the Christmas spirit this week because it's our Thanksgiving special yeah. let's get to the news well the news was actually a little dry pre-election NPR even released an article about how women are fishing more okay just bringing more attention to male-dominated sports that women are just as capable of doing weird and November 6 marks not only the midterms, but also Stranger Things Day. The holiday marks the 35th anniversary of the character Will Byers disappearing, which set the Netflix series in motion. Fans celebrated by dressing up as their favorite characters, eating egos, and reminiscing on the best moments of the series so far. However, while the day's celebrations were clearly an 11 out of 10, all we really want to know is where is season three? <laughs> At least Hollywood isn't keeping us in suspense. Illumination Studios brought us the masterpiece Despicable Me, and they are planning on making a Shrek reboot. If it comes out anything like their last big hit, get ready for a second coming of Facebook moms sharing pictures featuring funny, colorful-looking men next to quotes. Before you know it, your 60-year-old mother will be sharing images like this. <laughs> Christine, I am talking to you. Stop sending me Facebook memes. Speaking of memes, Florida was in the news recently when a school bus of children got to witness two women in a violent street fight, and one of them was using a broken coffee mug as a shank. But we've had those days, right? Like, don't talk to me before I've had my, hey, don't talk to me, you know? <laughs> Violence is not a joke, and we here at BSU Tonight do not condone it. And we recently uncovered a shocking example of domestic abuse in our own talent section. Here's a look. Hey, babe. Yeah? <laughs> Please don't say silent. But listen, VSU Tonight is not the only show guilty of crossing the line. Fox News employees were outraged when their star propagandist, Sean Hannity, joined President Trump on stage during a recent Trump rally. The senior staffers say that Hannity crossed a new line in the realm of journalistic ethics. You know, it must have been pretty bad if Fox News analysts shared their complaints with the CNN analysts. That's like if the stormtroopers complained to the rebels that Darth Vader needs to stop jerking off the Emperor. <laughs> well, at least the Emperor is getting jerked off at all, though. I mean, Under Armour has been absolutely blue-balling their employees. <laughs> you know, as they're no longer allowing them to put strip club visits on their company cards. This is distressing news for the employees at Under Armour, as they no longer have a way to communicate with their target audience. <laughs> Bill Gates, the world-renowned billionaire, has plunged himself into the golden throne. 
more specifically his hands. While speaking at the Reinvented Toilet Expo, Gates pulled out a jar of human feces to explain why waterless toilets are the way of the future. Now, I know Bill Gates dropped out of college, but I know he didn't take T Com 210, but isn't it like common sense not to hold up a jar of feces during a speech? <laughs> In lieu of flushable toilets, Gates will have quite the heavy load on his hands and we'll see if he sniffs out a solution. <laughs> and finally, a heavy metal band from New Zealand was not allowed to perform at a Salt Lake City bar because the members were too young. The members of the band Alien Weaponry are all 16 to 18 years old, but Utah liquor laws prevented them from entering the venue. Unfortunately, by the time they will be old enough to enter the bar, they will have grown out of their emo phase. <laughs> we have a great show for you tonight. My cousin Perry will be here. We've got Thanksgiving pack facts, Muncie Pilgrims, and Sea Salt and Cinnamon is here. And now that October has come to a close, Thanksgiving is just around the corner. You know what that means, tis the season to be grateful. And there's a lot to be grateful here at BSU tonight. To all the writers, the talent crew, and the audience, thank you. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Is that, is that Megan Cherry? Megan Berry. Oh, I haven't seen you since high school graduation. Oh, do you remember when I gave that speech as valedictorian and you didn't because you were salutatorian? Oh, I just feel so old. Oh, wait, do you feel so old? So old, I could die. <laughs> That's so funny. You are so funny. Uh, look at you. You haven't changed since high school. You too. Listen, you know, not that this hasn't been fun, but I'm in the middle of like hosting a show. Shut up. Wait, host? Oh, I'm so jelly. Well, I, you know, you were always Megan, driven one. And I was just Megan, the prettier one. <laughs> you know what, Megan Cherry? I don't care what people say about me. Oh, I can tell. Okay, I don't care what you say about me. Mm. You know who I do care about? The people on this show. They would never call me out for who I am, for what I'm about, for like... Your clothes? My willingness not to punch you in the throat! <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, wait. You won't, though. Because I'm friends with your mom on Facebook. You can't touch me, Megan Barry. I don't need to. Mm. Tis the season to be grateful. So, Megan Cherry, thank you for coming on my show. Really? Yes, thank you so, so much. Sight! <gasps> oh! It's not Thanksgiving yet. Someone get her out of here. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, no, no! Get out of me! I'm out of you! Who's a salutatorian now, you snake? I can be whoever I want in college. Well, the giving season is near here at BSU tonight. We wanted to give you something, so here's another package. Roll the clip. Oh. <laughs> what up, Ball State University? What's up, everybody? What's going on? <laughs> I'm a Captain Jack. And I'm Everett. I'm not a captain nor a commander. I am just here to bowl. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, since you guys have been ignoring our email blast, we took it upon ourselves to make this video tell you what ultimate bowling should be a varsity sport here at PSU. Oh, steak, baby! <laughs> ultimate bowling! <laughs> ultimate bowling is really just like regular bowling, but you score on how the style of your throw as well as how many pins you knock down. Yeah! And when it's the opponent's turn, you can throw your ball at them. <laughs> no. No, that was not a rule. That never was a rule. Well, I... Uh, I swear to God, if you throw a ball at me when I'm trying to bowl, I'm ripping those... To make sure no one cheats, we hired an official judge. <laughs> Check it. Yeah, these idiots pay me to judge them on how stupid they can throw a bowling ball, so there's definitely worse jobs out there. You know, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to really perfect your moves. 
<laughs> Bet you didn't think I was holding that behind my back, did you? Well, this one's called the tornado. Team, and there's really no other teams yet? That's okay, because when Ball State makes this an official sport, <laughs> oh, you know more people oh, are yeah. going to That's what we're hoping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we also have another mascot as well. Oh, yeah. Right here, this is our beloved Ball. Yeah. The name's Ball. <laughs> we don't bowl with Ball because, well, we have a lot of respect for Ball. Yeah. In fact, Ball and I even bathe together. And that's how, uh, I, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what else, what, what else can we say about Ultimate Bowling? Like, well, it's a very fun, very, very fun. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Consider Ultimate Bowling to be a Ball State University varsity sport. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate Bowling! <laughs> Well, we are happy to showcase a brand new segment on our show. It's called Just the Facts with Austin Black. So without further ado, here is Austin Black with some fun Thanksgiving facts. Which camera am I looking at? Fact number one, this is talent member Mitchell Martin. Fact number two, Mitchell's mom prefers wearing sports bras. Fact number three, Mitchell's mom enjoys being called big country. Fact number four, Mitchell's mom walks with a slight wobble due to her giving birth to such a massive Okay, pad. wait, aren't these supposed to be Thanksgiving facts? That's enough, Megan. Fact number five, Mitchell's mom enjoys a warm bubble bath with a glass of red wine. Fact number six, Mitchell's mom has read Fifty Shades Freed nine times. Okay, we gotta stop this? Megan, you said you wanted facts and that is what I'm doing. Fact number seven, Mitchell's mom uses lilac scented L'Oreal shampoo. Personal fact one, I love the smell of Mitchell's mom shampoo. Personal fact two, I now use Mitchell's mom shampoo. Fact number eight, Mitchell's mom knows all of Mitchell's darkest fantasies, including his sexual fetish for the 2007 animated classic Ratatouille, starring the likes of Louis. Mitchell? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. This, this, this happens a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll, we'll be right back. You're watching Lifetime, because nothing else better is on. At three, it's Teen Dance Moms. But right now, you're watching the real guest of Thanksgiving dinner. I just spent all day cooking dinner, and now I'm going to spend all night cleaning it up. I drove nine hours to be around a group of people I hate, but no, I'm not upset about it. My wife and I have been in a sexless marriage for ten years, but we're waiting to get divorced until all the kids are in college. My parents had me to replace the son they lost in a mall and think I still don't know. I know. <laughs> My apple pies are the life of every party. I buy them at Costco every year. I don't know when the last time I looked at my husband and felt what joy was. Oh, one time a bat got stuck in the house and I killed it with the sword. <laughs> my uncle broke my arm during flag football and made me lie to my mom about it. Uh, there was there was a mix up at the hospital when I was born and I went home with the wrong family. But they don't know that. I tell everyone I'm a widow because my piece of shit ex-husband is dead to me. I still show up to my ex-wife's family functions even though we've been divorced for eight years. 
My secret? I'm gay and I've been having sex with the friend I brought home since September, but my parents still think I'm straight. I am so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa, put the sword down. Grandpa, we talked about this. There's no bats in the... Come on, man. Oh, yeah, this this is great. Honey, would you, would you put it in? I used mustard this year. Yeah, yeah, it's great. This had been the real guest of Thanksgiving dinner. Catch us next week for the real stars of Jackson High School Show Choir. Oh, hello! We're back! Well, in honor of Thanksgiving, the most food-related holiday, we're going to be playing a BSU Tonight original game that we'd like to call Tweet It or Eat It. Ooh. My competitor is going to be my cousin Perry, who's in town for Thanksgiving. Give a warm welcome to Perry. Thanks for having me, Megan. It's so cool being here. If I'm being honest, I'm a little nervous. Aw, Perry, that is so cute. Don't worry. I won't let anything happen to you. Well, that's what you said when we climbed that tree in the third grade, and guess what? I still broke my arm. <laughs> Shush! We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> All right, back to the game. The rules are simple. We will each pull a question from this fancy question cup, and you either need to answer the question and tweet that answer out to your, all of your followers, or you need to eat one of our delectable snacks here. Well, these better be easy questions, because this stuff's really gross. <laughs> you wish. Well, it's my turn, so um, I'll start us <laughs> off. Uh, what? is your most embarrassing moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I know this one. You sure you want to let the whole world know about the incident? <sighs> well, it's better than eating any of this stuff, so. Okay, I'll grab my phone really quick. <clears throat> I'm gonna tweet it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I was in the fifth grade, I peed my pants during assembly um, because I was too scared to ask to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And um, can you just tweet it? Wow. Yeah. All right, my turn. Who is your current crush? Well, um, that's something I'd like to keep private. Ooh, it looks like you're going to have to eat it. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's get Pretty this gross. over with. Um, I'm telling you right now, this is the only time I'll be eating any of this gross stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My turn. Alright. What what is your guilty pleasure? <laughs> uh hey, that one's kinda easy. I don't I don't know if I'm ready for the world to hear this. But I know that I'm not ready to put any of this in my mouth, so. All right. Sometimes when I eat cereal, I use orange juice instead of milk. <laughs> Tweet it. That's humiliating, I know. Yeah, that's almost as gross as the food I just ate. Well, uh, I don't, I don't here know. I go, I guess. What is your social security card number? Megan, this can't seriously be a question. Is that one too hard for you, Perry? <laughs> guess it's time to pick from the, from the table. I can't, can I pick another question maybe? No. <laughs> Fine. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh. Okay. These have been getting really personal, <laughs> and I'm nervous. Okay. <coughs> oh, that's so, so nasty. Ugh. What? Oh. What is your favorite color? I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> dude, oh, dude, I might actually have to eat from the table. Megan, are you kidding me? Your favorite color? That's not revealing at all. No, dude, a favorite color is really personal. There is nothing controversial about your favorite color. Okay. Okay, you're right, Perry. I'm an open book, and it's worth not eating that. So, <clears throat> my favorite color is teal. I can't look. Do it. 
Tweet it. Can't do it. And tweeted. Guess it's my turn. Whoop de doo. I uh, let's see what I get this time. If you had to kill your mom or your dad, which would you choose and why? <laughs> of course. <laughs> why would I get a normal question? <laughs> Are you gonna tweet it or eat it, Perry? <laughs> do I even have a choice? I love my parents, Megan. Okay, looks like someone just doesn't want to take another bite from the punishment snacks. Don't be a poor sport, Perry. <sighs> Oh. oh, screw you, Megan. Guess I won. Well, that concludes tonight's game of Tweet It or Eat It. Thanks again to my cousin, Perry. Up next, we have the owners of a local vegan bakery to share some of their holiday treats with us. Please welcome to the show, Sea Salt and Cinnamon. <laughs> It's okay, she's nice, she won't make fun of me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be making pumpkin pie. Yes. Oh my god. Can wow. you believe it? I'm Thank very you. excited. So, um, first things first, let's introduce you. I'm Amanda. This is Amanda from Sea Salt and Cinnamon. You're yes. the owner? I'm the owner. Amazing. That's me. We love it. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> let's get started here and then we can talk a little bit about Sea Salt and Cinnamon. Sure. So, what are we sure. doing? Sure. Okay, so. I've got everything kind of pre-made for you. Okay, so good. That's a good. It's a good plan. <laughs> so we don't have to do too much work. So first, you're going to want to make your crust. Okay. Right? That makes sense. It's yeah. a dough. It's a dough. We use all kind of your normal things, flour, sugar. Yeah, so it's vegan, right? It is vegan. Okay, so, so what's the difference between like a vegan dough and like a regular pie dough? So the main difference is going to be our butter. Okay, it that makes total sense. It doesn't have any dairy in it. So nothing we do has anything from an animal in it. No egg, oh. no dairy, no... That's cute. Meat, no nothing. Yeah. I like that. We like animals here. So, so. so what do you use as your shortening instead? So we use a non-hydrogenated shortening. Mm. It's organic. It's a little fancy. I like it. And then we use Earth Balance Butter. Oh, which okay. Which is a brand. Yeah, I've you've tried probably that. seen in the tried store. That. So it's it's dairy free. But yeah, all your kind of traditional things to make to make your your pie crust. You cool. want to cool it okay. before so you so refrigerate it. Refrigerate it. Yeah, before you. Roll it out. Okay. Can okay. you guys see this? This is pretty cool. <laughs> we've got our pie pan. Okay. So then you want to prepare your filling, which we've got one here. You can use fresh pumpkin or canned pumpkin. It's up to you. No judgment there. Uh, we use maple syrup to sweeten it. A little bit of soy milk. I love maple some syrup. Spices. <laughs> yeah. And then we use agar powder, which is like um, kind of like a seaweed that helps everything okay. gel together. Really cool. So yeah. what would you say like the hardest part about baking things vegan is? Mm, like probably the... all the questions <laughs> we get about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all just stuff. It's, <laughs> it's not as hard as people think. You do not need eggs or dairy or any of that to make okay. all of the delicious things that we make. Um, mm, the biggest, exciting. yeah, the hardest thing is usually trying to convince people it's not weird. It's not that different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so why did you start? Like a vegan bakery. Um, so uh, we started Sea Salt and we Cinnamon, my husband this, and I. Please. Sure, while we're talking. Yeah, we can That chat. works. Okay. We do this. My, my husband and I started Sea Salt and Cinnamon in 2014. Um, I had just graduated from Ball State with a master's degree not too long ago. Whoa, really? And yeah. In what? In opera and singing, actually. I know. That is so cool. It? I know it. Do you, do you <laughs> sing opera in the bakery? <clears throat> No. No? <laughs> Do you ever like catch yourself just be like singing an aria like? Sometimes. We, we have some, we have some uh, musical theater and opera buffs on our team. So That's good. That's get a little bit going. It's fun to be around. Yeah. But um, so had, had done that and took a couple years. Mm -hmm. Basically wasn't paying the bills. So uh, yeah. started a business. That's fair. Yeah. You know, it's okay. Music is all math. Baking is all math. It all worked out. Uh, <laughs> Skill sets were yeah, there. Yeah, right. So started in 2014, um, have grown since then. My husband joined in 2017, and we actually hired our um, three employee team in May of this year. Cool. Yeah. That's really exciting. So you guys are based out of Muncie, but you sell your products in like a more like in like vendor style, right? Yeah, yeah. So we work in a commercial kitchen, and then okay. we distribute from there. Um, we work with a lot of partners in the Indianapolis area, coffee shops and breweries and all kinds of places. 
in Muncie. We are um, on campus actually at Woodworth Dining Hall. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. They have our products there. Check them out, Woodworth. Day. Woodworth on sea campus. Sea salt and cinnamon. Um, and then we also work with the caffeinery here in Muncie. So Ooh. they carry our lunch bowls. Um, oh. Yeah, so we do cool. savory foods as well. And then we work um, with Books and Brews in Muncie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah, carry White River. chili. Yep, cool. absolutely. Um, so what, what's your, like, your favorite thing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What's your favorite <laughs> thing to make? Um, I would say... I really love the creative side of things. So when we get to do frosted sugar cookies or wedding like decorate cakes, them and stuff, yeah, oh. I love all of that. My favorite thing to eat though that we make is our chocolate chip cookies. I that could eat fair. them all day long. I like that. I like <laughs> that a lot. So you guys also make some gluten free stuff, right? We do. Yeah, most of our items that we make we can also make gluten free, um, just because of what we do. We get asked a lot about allergies and yeah. allergy friendly items, so. That's why I was asking. I know that. plenty of people that are yeah. glutinous. Glutinous? Right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we've got the dough. What, what thickness right. are we getting it at? So I like a pretty thick dough. I think that's one of the best parts of the pie. I so also like that. like to make it pretty thick. Once you kind of get it rolled out to about, right, you can kind of right. measure with your pan. Oh, that is a good. Yeah, there you go. That's smart. I would just would have just picked it up and like plopped no, it on and been like, that. <laughs> man, that didn't work. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna try this. Hopefully it works. You're gonna roll your crust. That is so much smarter than what was and in my head. <laughs> and then roll it back out. Do you do this professionally? I do, I do. can you imagine? <laughs> okay, so oh. you're gonna, yep, push it down into your pie pan. Obviously we have a lot of extra. We're gonna use that for decorating. You do want to leave a little extra on the edges because you can fold it under. And we'll use it to make a nice decorative edge. Yeah, and if you guys see here, I'll pull this out. Oh, yes. Um, this is what her finished one looks like. You can take it let's out see. all the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's, so let's attempt this here. Okay, don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> you know I could. <laughs> so check that out. Do we want to, this one? Is this better? Ooh. Yeah? No? Is it still not going to camera one? No? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I wanted right. the up close in focus shot. That's Thank right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, directors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So once you've got your your thick crust, right? That's what she's you working. Kind of go through. Oh, you made that look so much nicer. She's like crumpling up the edges yeah. to you can give it like a. the edges. <sighs> Perfect. So then, so then from there, do you just put? Yeah. So once you've got your edges, I didn't realize fixed, this was so simple. It is simple. <sighs> It's not that hard. Of course it is. <laughs> but instead, you could just pay me instead to do it That's for true. you. That's true. And so that how, does, how does that work? <laughs> I mean, do you guys have like an online shop too? Do you have yeah, so like a list of vendors? We, so we post our menu every week on Facebook. Um, you can Facebook? find us. Facebook? Sea Salt and Cinnamon. Sea Salt and Cinnamon, Facebook. Facebook. Go like their page. Go, go follow us. it. We post our menu every Sunday. And then uh, we post all over Instagram. We post all over Twitter. We're on all the things. Okay, and you is your your social media handles Sea Salt and Cinnamon everywhere? Pretty much, yeah. I think okay. Twitter is Sea Salt Cinnamon because and was too long to yeah, add in there. Yeah, you know maybe. Um, but yeah, so we're all over social media. We're pretty active. Um, we answer we answer your your questions any way you want. Mm -hmm. Messages, text, call, whatever you want to do. Email, Perfect. all the things. So what are so we've got we've got this finished here. Right. So we have this. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of that extra crust yeah. and add a few finishing touches. We've got these little handy dandy mm -hmm. leaf. They're like little leaves. Yeah. So they can cut, you can push it down, you get a nice little oh edge. Gosh. Yeah. Do you guys see this? It's real simple. Do you guys see this? There's a little <laughs> there's like little there's little leaves. Like, you know how cookie cutters usually just have, like, the outside? Like, this has, like, a little pattern on the inside, too. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. I don't, but know. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the one we showed you, right? <laughs> That's how you do. You okay. guys all saw it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Oh. There you go. Pretty simple. So, this is it. Wait, can you hold up the other one? Yeah. Let's compare. I can. Tell me. Wait, you guys do pies, obviously, but, like, what else yeah. do you do? So, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving okay, right we'll now. Hold We've it. got. Over here, maybe? Over here. Is this the one? Do you guys want to <laughs> see? <laughs> We've got our Thanksgiving menu out now. We do savory foods oh. and sweet foods. So 
Really? Impress your family members? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's Impress really exciting. Your Impress your family members, give us a call, take something home for Thanksgiving. I might. Now <laughs> I might. That's a wonderful idea. My mom yeah. would be so impressed with me. Pretend you made it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, you made something vegan? I'd be like, no. <laughs> wow. That is wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much for Absolutely. teaching us how to make a pumpkin pie. It was so simple, and I'm sure it's delicious. Yeah, it is. Think you see salt and cinnamon. Everyone give her a wonderful round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Yes, thank you so much. Wow. Wow. That smells really good. As we've said, Thanksgiving will be upon us soon. Thanksgiving, the middle stepchild of the holiday season. And as an educational program, our staff thought it would be important to teach you guys all about the history of this great American tradition. So we've brought in a group of historical reenactors to teach everyone about the lives of the Plymouth Pilgrims. Please welcome to the show the Muncie Mayflower Reenactor Troupe. Hey, here's a guest, the Pilgrim Reenactors. Yeah, about that. Um, they all died of smallpox. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess they took their job really seriously, so. At least they didn't slaughter 90% of an indigenous people's population. Ooh. <laughs> Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs> this is the story of the ugly pancake. Once upon a time, on a chilly Sunday morning, Mr. Thompson was making pancakes for his sweet and loving family when suddenly let me just put that at the bottom of the pile I'm sure no one will eat it later at the breakfast table Mr. and Mrs. Thompson along with their children Bobby, Judy and Squirt were just finishing up their meal family all thought, unsure of how to handle the griddled monstrosity. Maybe it just needs some syrup. Why? What? It might be cold. Or, I, don't <laughs> I don't think that's it, sweetie. Maybe we need to eat it. What? Dad, why? But Mr. Thompson had no answer. He simply wished to hide the shame of his affront to God. It's, it's the right thing to do, to put it out of its misery. <laughs> creature, burying their secret as a family. So remember, the next time you make a pancake, use a griddle instead of a pan, lest your poor spatula skills create an abomination that screams to the heavens in retaliation for its creation. The end. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Sea Salt and Cinnamon. Be sure to check out their social media. And a huge thanks to my cousin Perry. 
No thanks to Megan Cherry, and bless the souls of the Muncie Mayflower. Have a great night. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving.